Hi crafty friend, it's Justine and I'm going to make a shaker card with the new release that just came out today when this video is posted. And the release is with Carissa Wiley and Spellbinders. I'm going to use the giant balloon die. I'm also using the collection that is just from Spellbinders that goes with her collection. And I grabbed the 3D embossing folder called Floating Balloons. And I wish, like they say on the Spellbinders website, there was touch -o vision because the dimension on this, I know it doesn't look like it when you put it sideways, but there's a ton of dimension on there. So I'm using that embossing folder. And then I'm also, I used the Have a Poppin' Birthday Glimmer Plate. This was from the It's My Party 2, which is, again, kind of the companion collection that goes with her collection. There seems to be kind of like a birthday theme going on, so they kind of all mesh together. Anyway, for this card, I went ahead and just grabbed a card base, and I die cut out from the giant balloon, the large circle, because I wanted the background of my card to match the background of the balloon. So to start off the card, I'm just going to put down this hot pink on the back of my card base just to get it going. And the hole in the middle will not even be seen when the card is finished, so I don't even worry about it. Plus, it takes a little weight off the card. Since this is a shaker, it is going to be a thicker and heavier card, so it doesn't really hurt to take some of the weight off. If only we can do that in real life. Anyway, <laughs> I'm next going to put down the light pink, which is the kind of the main background. This is an A2 size card, so my base is four and a quarter by five and a half. Then my next panel here is four inches by five and a quarter. So basically just taking a little off so there is a border. And I mean, just with that, this embossing folder is just stunning. And I haven't gotten too far into like the glimmer, not the glimmer, oxides on top of the balloons or watercolors. I definitely have noticed people doing that and I really want to soon. So I will be doing that sometime. I'm kind of into like painting and stuff. So I haven't really put that on YouTube very much, but I might later. We'll see. Anyway, the large balloon, I glimmered the big circle here and then I glimmered the string part for the balloon. And then when you die cut out the big circle, it puts a little slit right here and that is for this to go so it looks seamless. So that's great. Now to make the shaker part, I guess is the next part. I have a shaker window from Waffle Flower all ready to go. Now this is the three inch circle. So I'm just gonna remove the protective film like so. Look how shiny that is. Ooh, it's so pretty. Anyway, I love using shaker windows because it makes it so easy to make shaker cards. I don't have to measure. I can just pop it right on. So <laughs> I have, again, die cut out the large balloon. So yes, there's this little slit here, but it doesn't matter. But I really just needed it to be the same size for my um, large balloon here. And I know it's not the correct size, but once this little ring goes over, I think it should cover up everything. Uh, it does not. Okay. <laughs> and I have to just restart. I definitely will use this shaker window, but on an appropriate size card. So we're just going to have to pivot. This is not going to be a shaker card. Womp womp. Okay. Okay. Well, we're just going to keep it going. Well, Anyway, if, if I was going to do a shaker, I was going to talk about some things you can put inside. So let's just do that anyway, because that's life. You know, it's early morning. Maybe this is just like a weird morning thing. Anyway, so Spellbinders definitely sells their own. So these are the sweet sprinkles. There's also a flat kind of like discs that come with the sprinkles like this. And they come in these cute little bottles. So that's fun. Also, sometimes in card kits, they give you things like this. You can kind of see it's more than just just sequins. There's like a butterflies and um, all sorts of little goodies in there. Perfect, that spilled everywhere. Oh, very on brand. Okay, 
And then there's also these that are the mix-ups. These are definitely really fun to add into different shaker areas. I used the rainbow ones on my balloons last month and that was really fun. And these have little balls and crystals and sequins. They're just really neat. So anyway, I do like shaker windows, but today it was just not meant to be. So we're just going to move on. Um, <laughs> I got a paintbrush that came with my, um, my mink machine. So I'll just use that to clean up my area. By the way, I do like my mink machine quite a bit. It has been such an interesting machine to learn. I'm so used to the Glimmer Hot Foil system from Spellbinders and it is a totally different machine. It works completely differently than the Hot Glimmer. So again, it's been interesting learning. Thank you to Nancy from Nancy Stamps because her videos have definitely helped me figure out how to um, use it and have my products turn out really nice. So um, if you're interested in the mink machine, I can link it in the description. I'm obviously not using it in this video today, but scrapbook.com sells it. I got mine from Pink and Main because I got the pink one because why not? If it comes in pink, let's get it in pink, you know? Um, so maybe I'll just link both because maybe people are pink people. Maybe people aren't pink people. I don't know. Um, and then I'll also link the Glimmer Hot Foil Machine, which is what I actually use to glimmer on this card today. So there's that. And then if I can just get this little balloon part into the slit, that would be perfect. I just love this foil. I used the, I think it's called, it was the Metallic and Holographic Variety Pack. So I used the pink that came in that for the have a poppin birthday and then I also use the silver holographic speckle to make this and look at how pretty that is it just catches the light so well and I just really have loved using that foil all right looks like I was too chatty and my glue dried so let's just put a little more glue down Apparently people like the chatty videos. I've been asking on my card kit of the month videos, do people like the chatty videos? And apparently people like them, so I'm just going to keep going with that. Anyway, to put down this glimmer sentiment, I used the small squares from Spellbinders. And just for the sake of video time, I thought I was making a shaker card, so I peeled all those off already. But they're super easy to use, and they're really nicely sized so I'm using it on this card I bought that during the warehouse sale so um, I had some things on sale like my dies and stamps but I don't I don't believe those were on sale I could be wrong I don't even remember I'm so excited because I'm getting another box from Spellbinders this afternoon and also one's coming Sunday so one is an actual order and one is an affiliate box which is um new products that Spellminders sends to me to show you here. <laughs> so that's exciting. You know, I really do like these little embellishments and I am going to pull some of these out anyway, even though it's not going to be a shaker card. We're going to just make it work anyway. As I was going to find my gem picker here, I realized that I still have not picked up a Wink of Stella and I've been to my craft store twice in the last month so what in the world am I doing perhaps I am just getting distracted I really wish <laughs> my craft store would sell more Spellbinders products because that would save on shipping but um, one day I definitely hope that they start selling them soon though oh those little butterflies are so adorable I love them look at that okay and then these little, I don't know, we'll call them little discs. They are very light. So they just kind of fly around. <laughs> okay, and I think I need another butterfly because two seems wrong. I need that even number. I'm sure there's a name for that, but there's some rule in art where you're supposed to have odd numbers. 
I think I said even before, but I meant odd. I think this needs a little something else, so I maybe, hmm. So I think I'm going to grab my Nouveau Drops. This one's Morning Dew. That's too clear. This one, White Blizzard. This is the one I'm going to use. You can tell I've used it quite a bit already. These are just going to bring a little bit more bling and sparkle to my project. They do take a little bit to dry, so I'll have to set it aside somewhere safe until everything's dry. But I am already liking the glitter and bling. I'm going to do some big ones and some little ones and just kind of make it fun. But the nice thing about the Nouveau Drops, I'm sure you know about them, but if you don't, they hold their shape. They're not going to flatten out like a pancake. Um, and I really, I really do like the dimension and the sparkle that this one has, which is the White Blizzard. So I will link all the products I used today down below in the description. And I am so happy for Carissa Wiley for releasing her collection. I think that is just so exciting. I love supporting other crafters and just giving them a little shout out. I'm sure they don't need it. I'm still a very small fish in the sea. So like I said, there's It's My Party by Carissa and then there's also It's My Party 2 which is by Spellbinders. House Mouse Awesome Company is releasing some adorable house mice little stamps. They are so cute. And they almost fill up a whole card front. And then Stamp Pendus is going to have some really fun, kind of those quick cards, quick and easy cards. They have some that are themed for outdoors and kind of like the the nature of it all. And those are really interesting. And then Stamp Pendus is also releasing a whole collection called Hugs that has some bears and kitties and puppies. And then we have a collection that is the sealed for summer which is all about wax sealing and if you're not into wax sealing don't worry there's something in there for you I'm sure there's glimmer plates and embossing folders so if wax sealing is not for you no problem there's something there for you as well and then of course we have um, coming up later this month, we have the Better Press, which I am really excited to show you and demonstrate some of the products I've been using with it already have really gotten me excited about it, and um, it's releasing on the 17th. So today, when this video goes up, is the 10th, so that means next Saturday is the release for the Better Press. So if you want to pre-order it, you certainly can. I will link that in the description as well. Oh boy, so many links. <laughs> um, but on the 17th is when I will have my first video on my channel all about the Better Press. I am super excited to show you, like I said, super excited and I hope that, and I hope you stick around for this month. There's all sorts of inspiration coming to you. I am a kindergarten teacher by profession. So I am not teaching this summer, so I plan to have more videos on my YouTube channel, so subscribe so we can craft together. Anyway, I hope you have a great rest of your day. We'll see you next time. Bye!